批冠，到这里本该接近尾声，但今日我再添一笔，唱与祝。茫茫天地无依靠，孤身离去。今日再会，新朋旧友坐满堂，共聚此时。No, of course not. You are my honored guests, and given the looks of you two, I presume that you're here to celebrate the Lantern Rite. That's right. So, what's on the agenda for the festival this year? As always, there will be a variety of activities taking place. Oh, but there is one of particular interest. The Ministry of Civil Affairs is planning a fireworks show this year. It should certainly be worth your time. Releasing Mingxiao lanterns has always been at the heart of the Lantern Rite, but with all that has occurred in Liyue as of late, I think the people of the city need something to warm their hearts—a feeling of everyone coming together in solidarity. So, I believe that this year calls for a celebration of particular magnificence, something that would be closer to the hearts of every citizen. We are currently in the process of placing fireworks at various locations all throughout Liyue. We shall choose a timely moment during the festival to set off all the fireworks in unison, allowing the sparkling lights and excitement to resonate with the hearts of the people. Fireworks? But we've already seen fireworks in other places before. <gasps> Is there something special about the fireworks in Liyue? Fireworks were originally developed alongside many other inventions here in Liyue. When our ancestors first created fireworks, they were originally known as firecrackers. Their bright flashes and loud sounds were often used for warding off beasts or as warning signals to other people. In those days, it was difficult for people to contact one another while out farming the land, so they would carry firecrackers with them to give signals when necessary. But People's lifestyles began to change after Liyue Harbor was founded. They no longer had to travel out of town to tend the fields anymore, so the use of firecrackers for emergencies also began to dwindle. But through our local customs, the pioneering spirit of the firecrackers has been passed down to this very day. We made improvements to firecrackers and began setting them off during the Lantern Rite to commemorate the tenacious spirit of our ancestors. Wow! Everything has so much history in Liyue. As I'm sure you already know, everything on this land accumulates history and value as time passes. That is the nature of Liyue. I've left Kuching in charge of the fireworks show. If you're interested, why don't we pay her a visit together? We need to add a few more locations for launching fireworks. The show has to be visible all across Liyue, not just in the city. They celebrate Lantern Rite in Qingsa Village too, you know. <laughs> but, Lady Kuching, what about our budget? The budget is exactly what it's meant to be. It's the necessary amount of funds to properly carry out a task. If you think the current budget will not suffice, then we'll simply have to apply for more funding from the Ministry of Civil Affairs and wait for their approval. Our aim is to organize a memorable lantern rite. The budget is there just to facilitate planning. We mustn't lose sight of our goal. Yes, Lady Kuching, I understand. Good, and please remember, safety first. <sighs> oh, 
Oh, it's Ningguang and the Traveler. Good to see you. Are you here for the Lantern Rite? Your timing couldn't be any better. The preparations are almost complete. I'm reviewing the positioning of the fireworks and double-checking the relevant facilities. It's all in a day's work. Forgive my directness, but if I'm not mistaken, you could just as easily leave these tasks to your subordinates. You've already been working around the clock these past few days. I'm sure a break would not be amiss. Uh, no, no, it's fine. Really, I can handle it. Pungi, please redraft our plans, make a summary report, and send it to the Ministry of Civil Affairs. I'm going into town to check the progress of the fireworks setup. I'll return shortly. As for you, Traveler, you're our esteemed guest. Please, take the opportunity to stay in Liyue Harbor and enjoy the festivities. Pungyi, is everything clear? Please remember the tasks I've given you. Yes, Lady Kuching. Don't worry. Good. Ningguang, Traveler, goodbye for now. Excuse me, Lady Ningguang. And, uh, Traveler. I must get going. Lady Kuching told me a great deal of information, and I have to write up the plans from scratch again, so time is of the essence. Oh, one moment. I almost forgot. Here, Traveler. This is a launch tube. Lady Kuching said you may be interested, so she had me keep one to give to you. Someone with good handicraft skills should be able to use this to design their very own fireworks. You should try it when you have the chance. Paimon couldn't get a single word in just now. Uh, well, more like Paimon didn't dare open her mouth while they were talking, but still. Did you notice it too? Lady Kuching is a lot more outspoken than she used to be. And she seems a whole lot busier too. Wonder why? Ever since the Adepti left Liyue Harbor in the hands of mortals, we Qixing have taken up the responsibility of leading the people. We have taken charge of many vital tasks in various sectors, and we are responsible for planning and organizing all sorts of affairs. That said, being in charge of everything inevitably takes its toll. It's exhausting at times. Jiangzhou was responsible for planning the Lantern Rite in former years, but her father is getting quite old now, so she transferred to another department this year. In the end, the Lantern Rite planning was left to Kuching and myself. I am the head organizer, while Kuching is responsible for the highly anticipated fireworks show. Such an important event should be entrusted to the most qualified candidate. Kuching is disciplined, yet passionate about her work, so she's naturally the best fit for the job. She's definitely disciplined! No doubt about that! Absolutely. She is strict with both herself and others, to the point that she can even become overly involved at times. She's worked several days without a break now. I'm concerned about the effects it may have in the long run. Finding balance is an essential concept in Liyue culture. I've tried talking to her, but you know how she is. She uses her wit to talk circles around anyone. Traveler, you are quite close to Kuching. Why don't you try talking to her? Maybe she'd listen to someone as experienced as you. Thank you, Traveler. I am glad you are able to help. Kuching can be a tough nut to crack sometimes. I still have other business to attend to at the Jade Chamber. I'll leave Kuching in your capable hands. Uh, are you sure you can really persuade Kuching to take a break? Even Ningguang herself couldn't manage to convince her. Besides, before you can persuade someone, you have to at least understand how they feel at the moment. Kuching has been working non-stop without a break. Duh! Come on, everyone knows that. Think harder. 
how does she feel deep, deep down inside? Uh, or maybe... Oh, we can ask a friend! You know, someone more knowledgeable. Huh? Jiang Li? Oh, there's no arguing that. Jiang Li it is then! Hyman thinks he's still a consultant at the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. Let's go see if he's there. Uh? Hello. How may I help you? Ah, yes. Well, I'm afraid he is currently out with the director. Out with the director? The director said that they were going for a walk. If you'd prefer, you could go look for them at Third Round Knockout. I've heard the director often goes there to do, uh, promotion. Yum, yum, yum! Ooh, I am so full. Not another bite. Hats off to you, Shengling. Serving the grilled fish with a dipping sauce is quite an innovative approach. The flavor is just to die for. <laughs> That's my signature dipping sauce. I knew it would taste great. Hmm. Tempered drain chili powder mixed with garlic paste and chopped scallions, then seasoned with salt, vinegar, and soy sauce, before finally sizzling in hot oil. This recipe may seem a bit crude, but is entirely hinged on the precise balancing of flavors and seasonings by the chef. Everything must be balanced just right. It is the consummate mastery of this balance that turns a humble dish into an exquisite one. Oh, the game follows your journey to meet Jesus Christ and become besties think? with him. But first we need to get baptized, which ends up not happening Thank because you, we're told we're a fool. And then, oh, oh, and look I at that. Oh, look, the quality just got worse. Good. And then this you woman appears claiming the prize, to be Mr. God. Jean but we know that isn't you are too kind, because director. women can't do it. Your and by the way, those cutscenes, uh, yeah, I'm not doing anything to them. They just run like that for three frames a second. If my dirty 90 can't run this beast, we are beyond saving. I guess we're dealing with a bit of a Would you like to order something, Guava? So this like fake god over here, she's thing. so fake that as soon as she stops speaking, the entire village of bug-eyed freaks all rush at her to beat hey, her to the ground, but I don't join in. I watch again? instead. Can I borrow some of your toilet roll? We run oh, off somewhere else, and lo and behold, Hyman. there he is, Mr. The Christ himself. Yes, I know he looks like an alcoholic on, bricklayer, but trust me, guess. it's definitely him. And at this mm, point, yes. all we have to do is follow oh, him and here for the lantern watch race. stuff <laughs> Yeah, that's it. Map tells us where to go, we find him. Map tells us he's moved somewhere else, we find him. Map tells us he's moved somewhere else, we find him. This is as much fun as a dick Veruca. And every time we find him, he gives us... You came at the perfect time. I was just letting everyone try my latest dish. The owner of Third Round Knockout says it's... Uh, well, Wheat. if anything, real I just wish the more interesting stuff Mr. happened here because nothing really too. does. Aside from the time that I got fed up and decided to leave, more people do a taste point, test. Said, Touch me How about it, you two? Would you like to have a taste? Jesus loves me. What's that, Father of Christianity? Professor Peace, Mr. Goodwill toward men? You'll kill me, will you? Well. We'll see about that. <laughs> to be fair, you I suppose I would like to be touched by Jesus and not the other way uh, around. But come on, fine. man. Do you really think you can just kill whoever Let's you want? Let's get down to business. <laughs> Something that I do we meet like again, Traveler. Are the loading screens. I trust your journey is going well. They give spiritual quotes about the life of Jesus from famous religious figures, including Mahatma Splendid. Gandhi, the Prophet Muhammad, Therein lies Pharrell the Williams, value of J.C., a Bruce Lee, Oprah Winfrey, Jimi Hendrix, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Tupac, Kanye West, Eminem, Osama Bin Laden, and... And just in case you were wondering, we're on business too. We only tried Shaolin's dish since he just happened to be here. Business? Osama Bin Laden! Osama Bin Laden! Well, I suppose we did manage to find him, and nobody's found Jesus yet, so... Oh, no. holidays, life still follows its natural course, does it not? Is that really so surprising? Yeah, so... Oh, no, his name popped up and he made everything go... to be alarmed. It's just a nice day today, and I thought we could go for a walk while doing a little promotion for our business. 
Oh, you can go ahead and chat away. Xiang Ming and I will go have some tea with the bath over there. Oh, Xiang Ming, please come get me when you get here. Of course. I'll see you later. Now I know there's a few of you out there that like getting stepped on, but is this too much? Or do you consider it a challenge? Do you need a conquer Mount Everest? But hey, at least I know that if I want to get to heaven, all I've got to do is fly a plane into a building. And I'm not suggesting anything here. But Osama mm. did run yes. away and hide in a cave. The Yuhung is honest, intelligent, and, and most diligent. And she is capable of, of shouldering responsibilities that few others could. I'm but not saying everything Jesus, has a balance, and one's health must certainly Jesus, weigh in. And there is Jesus telling us a secret. But keep it to yourself, yeah. because the police Everyone knows you're after. super hey, knowledgeable. You want to see the I thing know that time. she would listen to someone like you. If I were still the mighty Rex Lapis, <laughs> I, love this I might it's be able to help her see reason. Face I've ever seen. But alas, I'm now nobody Why but an ordinary Jesus consultant. Why does Jesus look so intimidating? It's My like words no longer carry the kids. same weight oh, as wait, they wait once did. Here are some of the Steam Besides, achievements. Jesus I am by no means close to the Yuhan. Taking the liberty to lecture her Piss. may just as easily produce the opposite of, of the desired effect. The game starts off in Italy, where a lonely fisherman can't catch any fish, so then he starts whinging about having pizza again, and then starts complaining about his weight, and then, oh Jesus, Lord in heaven, please don't make me eat pizza again, I'm praying to the Almighty Lord, please don't make me eat pizza again, please don't make me eat Domino's again, and then the angels say, fine, shut up, and God himself hands him a message in a bottle that reads, don't get too excited, there's nothing actually wrong with you, and God himself hands him a message in a bottle that reads, don't get too excited, there's nothing actually useful in this message, but have you heard of a man named Jesus, immediately we forget the plight of the star of the fish, and then end up in Jesus' crib, and guess what, he's the one who's going to be 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 the he won't stop bitching either. I don't like my house. I can't sleep. My neck hurts. I have OCD. Just get to the I point already. Look, here's do. Mary doing something <laughs> weird with her arm well legs. Done, Let's give traveler. her a pack. Go collect some source materials for your Good story. Good boy, surprise. Of for course, God's sake, I can always Jesus. provide you with my advice if needed. Once we have formulated the plot, <gasps> Where's the you can tell Nobel the story prize. to the Yuhan. Secrets of Jesus is Boring. There is so you much are talking on in this damn thing. I know point and click games tend to be a bit boring, but candidate. no joke. This is mostly oh, dialogue, absolutely this? insipid so dialogue that doesn't mean anything, don't explain don't anything, right? contribute to the plot. It's like walking into someone else's so text messages from the year 30 AD. Well, at the very least, Jesus does give us a bit of a look. Greetings, everyone. He goes around the town uh, being so high I'm and mighty, it makes me sick. He finds an old man, demands his name, and then when he asks for Jesus' name in return, he replies, "Don't." Don't worry, Simpleton, you can't pronounce it anyway. He disturbs Mr. the home of a naked woman, I didn't demands that she come outside because he's going to thank heal you for people. All your she says no thanks because I'm, you know, naked. You and he says back to her that if she comes out right now, he'll use his powers to enlarge some of her. Even candles, mm -hmm. candles Why? are beneath this man. And what's with your strange expression? God, I'm the light. Oh, candles are useless compared to me. Well, I okay then, Mr. Big Shot, if you're so bright and wonderful, you could be my hallway lamp. Oh, no. What's this now? Jesus? Jesus Christ Kings? himself I refuses to carry us? on walking forward yes, on this path I was because going to there ask are you two rabbits in the way. The what kind of messiah are you? Clicking around, clicking around, clicking around. Gifts. I have no idea on what I'm doing. Can't go this way, can't go that way, can't but pick this up, can't pick that up. Ruin this person's day, ruin that person's day. Shall I jump? Yes. You could just as easily go and find them and Do you want to know what the name of the next game is? Yes, but we only met briefly on that single occasion. Jesus in space? The Adepti I may have already forgotten about me. Jesus and I'm concerned it would be imprudent to show up so suddenly. Which is why I thought it would be more appropriate to ask you to introduce me first. Manhunt 2. Stardate 9, 10, 18. Somewhere in the Alpha Gamer system. Christians aboard the Starship Tarsus are on a mission to... Oh man, let me guess. A mission to save an entire planet ecosystem? A mission to end a centuries-long war? A mission to rescue a captured galactic diplomat? Let me go and prepare the gifts. Share the gospel. I'm sorry to make you run errands with me during our big festival. I promise to make this quick, and I'll be sure to get you back in time to enjoy the fireworks show. Hyperdrive. Just... Huh? Bibles? Together? Yeah. Sorry, dude. Mm -hmm. Bibles aren't gonna save you from your own hair right. growing out of your eyes. This is I'll go to see the fireworks Dent, with you once I've finished my work. Boy whose sole Speaking of which, to Mr. Other Zhang Li, the oh, I get it. show will share be particularly exciting this year. With Please, aliens. Sadly, you never get to see uh, Jesus yes. in space in... Thank you for your kind Jesus reminder. Jesus in space. But it's okay. I Instead, you get to see Humpty Dumpty. Oh, and they also have this robot dressed as a Sunday school teacher. Wow, Shelby. Is that a new hair hologram you're wearing? 
nice. I would take you out back, but luckily for you, thou shalt not Merci come and thy robot air. By the way, look at this That's picture. I've U never home. seen a game screen shot where absolutely as ever. nothing looks like it belongs really together, and I love it. All of a sudden, we get an extreme close-up of sunburned Buzz Lightyear, and then we're attacked <laughs> Why, by asteroids. You, oh, no. Uh, don't worry. If you don't, don't want to do it, you can skip conversation. every single minigame if you want with Once this little menu up Once we've collected enough You can't lock out the gospel of Jesus behind your difficulty again and wall. I do recommend further. that you do that anyway, though, because other birds from ourmyhandshurt.com. A great many things are still unaccounted for. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Actually, do you know what these things are? They are the not subliminal billboard ads. The they're cards, and they're a core part of the game. Cards, according to the website, penetrate into the lives of men and crushes the fetters of the lives. All the literature, furniture, ornaments I had collected followed the original Jade Chamber to its watery grave. Most of it was destroyed in the process, and a small handful of items that survived and attacked are too in the process. But then again, why am I trying to find sensitive when the website also says the target of this game is that it takes someone with sturdy sea legs to handle this job. But even then, I just can't tell whether Beta will be able to the universe was the death of Jesus himself. Christ on the cross, so your opinion is wrong. Now, I know you're all dying to know. Wait, How so do you, you play Beto go and Jesus in the Matrix? The to claim that I made her Jesus do anything would be imprecise. After a very long time of me just we running around in circles wondering if this was my punishment after I died in real life, I ended up figuring artists. out that all of these floating red pills here are opposite to Payment these black cards. And to beat the game, it. you need to fill all but of them in with the correct also words of each her part of certain Bible scripture to make the card light up. And according <laughs> to say, this lady that I found in a... Anyway, Beto is currently in the Guyen Stone Forest area. If you're interested, go pay her a visit. You heard that you may right. Be if just you the don't help believe she in the Almighty, you are living in the Matrix, and the only way to get out of the Matrix time of year. I hope you enjoyed. It's been a miserable really couple of years patience. for everybody, so don't take the Jade Chamber smashed into smithereens when it hit the sea, then so did everything and don't inside if it. You do celebrate just because I know the ocean doesn't make sure the that you are the best, good, and loving Christians you can be. You know, just like Goofy when he found out about his son's preferences oh, and was abundantly supportive and accepting towards him. Maxie, we don't want any queers in this house. Actually, don't be like Goofy. Goofy's a twat. Wait, you couldn't and you know who I am? Time. I am the whole fleet's Jesus caught up with Christ. other things right Jesus now, so I'll take all the help I can get. Steam that hasn't been released yet, but my boy, I, to rope I am so glad this. that the world of Jesus games isn't going away anytime soon. Let's check hey, it out. What's the occasion? Did you come all the way out here to do a performance? You bet I did. <laughs> Nothing official, mind you. Beto wanted to hold a feast on board, and I agreed to come play a couple of tunes. what is conceived in her. But all that went out the window when someone showed up saying they were one of Ning Wong's secretaries. They called Beto away. This game is gonna I think kill it was me. By when or by Xiao? Uh, well, it was by something. Anyway, Ning Wong apparently came up with the bright idea of me going out on the sea and salvaging a bunch of real valuables. Oh, Jesus, it's the real Jesus. She seems willing to shell out for it, too. Oh, come on, it was just a joke. At the end of the day, the price was right. So, yeah, we took the work. Now, if we're gonna go trawling for trinkets, we're gonna need a smaller vessel. All the available boats have been dispatched already. But by the looks of it, we're still one short. So you have your own vessel, do you? <laughs> Great, let's take yours then. The more people we have on this job, the better. Because the sooner we get this wrapped up, the sooner we can get that feast going and actually enjoy the festival. Well, at least my body's on Amazon Prime!